shift focus to the economic mess in China. The deepening housing market recession is weighing heavily on China. Years of oversupply in housing have been pushing home prices down for three years. Consumer confidence is at rock bottom and for most Chinese, houses are their primary source of wealth. In addition, Chinese consumers had to pay mortgages on unfinished houses that they would never live in. Low consumer confidence translates into subdued retail spending, significantly slowing the transition to a consumer-led economy. The real estate recession hit debt-burdened provinces and their local government financing vehicles. The reason for this, of course, is their main source of income, which is selling land for property development, which has run dry. This puts more pressure on the central government to take over bad debt. The real estate as recession negatively impacts the factory sector with the manufacturing PMI coming below 50 for most of the last two years. This leaves exports and trade as the main growth engine. But to tap into global financial markets, which it needs to sustain growth, China has to protect its currency from plunging. All this is causing lowflation and deflation. This is even before some of the trade tariffs on China's exports by most major countries kick in. The geopolitical tensions and the collapse of the housing market are weighing on China's push for a growth target of 5% this year.